Hello my most amazing artists and welcome back to Art With Me, Miss Wegman. What we're going to do today is we're going to create an optical illusion where you're going to create a piece of artwork that, if you choose, can help you make it look like you are blowing bubbles right out of a flat piece of paper. I know you're thinking, what Miss Wegman? That doesn't make any sense. Well, let me show you how to make it. All right, to begin drawing my blowing bubble artwork, I'm gonna start off by drawing the bubble wand. And we're gonna make it look a little 3D, kind of like a, not so much literally popping off the paper, but it's not gonna be perfectly flat either. And I'm gonna start off with that kind of in the middle of the paper and down ever so slightly. And I'm gonna end up drawing kind of a tall and skinny letter C. I'm gonna kind of just sketch that in there a little bit and then I'm going to draw a second letter C that goes right along with it and this is kind of just creating that shape for me of my bubble wand. I'm also going to draw the the handle of my bubble wand. Okay, Not too much detail on these. We are going to cut around them when we cut it out or if you choose to cut it out you don't have to. And then I'm going to also sketch in lightly and kind of just close it off with an extra line in the middle of there just to kind of create our bubble want. If you want to, you could even add a couple little lines within it to make it look a little bit more realistic and there you go. So now let's get to the fun part which is drawing your bubble. You're going to start at your bubble wand and you want to make sure it's not coming from the top of your bubble wand. The bubble comes from within the smaller oval here. So starting from in there, I'm going to draw two lines kind of coming out of it. Almost looks like a sideways tornado type of thing. And I'm just going to sketch my bubble. And this is my bubble that I'm in the process of drawing. And that's this is probably the easiest part of the whole thing. Now I'm just going to start adding in bubbles. The cool thing about drawing your bubbles is if you would like to trace something that is circular shaped, you can. I'm also going to make sure to add a little line, little lines here and there that go along with the curve that show the shine of the bubble. Some, thing, some bubbles have more than one shiny spot, some only have a few, and you can draw all different size bubbles to fill your space. Again, if you want to trace something with um, a circle, you can. You can make really little bubbles, bubbles that are overlapping other bubbles, whatever works for you. All right, I've got my bubbles. Now I'm going to use my markers because that's what I've chosen to color with. But remember, you can use anything that is a coloring material. And I'm going to start to add some lines of color within my bubbles. I'm not coloring them in. I'm just taking them and adding some random colors within my bubbles. I don't have to do these colors within every single bubble too. I might choose to just do this pink within a few of them. And I'm going to constantly change my colors. And now it's totally up to you. Either you can be done here and this is simply your drawing of bubbles, or if you would like to try and turn it into a realistic kind of photo prop, you can take a pair of scissors and carefully cut around your shape. I'm not going to completely cut next to the lines of my bubble wand. And if you would like to reinforce it to make it a little bit easier to hold, you might want to have an extra pencil or some chopsticks um, and some tape on hand. I am going to try and see how mine can work with me just holding it. Not cutting close to my bubbles, just around it. And then once I get to my wand, then I'm going to cut next to it.
And it turns out that even though I used thick drawing paper, it definitely was not strong enough to stay up on its own. So what I did is I took a little scotch tape and taped one of my drawing pencils to the back of my bubble wand. It's a little longer, but that's still okay. And the important part is, is that you, whatever it is that you're taping to the back of your bubble wand, you tape it here at the top where it's most connected to the large part of your paper. And then when I turn it around, I have created the illusion that I am blowing some bubbles. What a great prop for a good photo shoot, hmm? So it's up to you. You can either cut them out and create your own photo prop of you blowing some bubbles, or you can just keep it on the paper. But whatever it is, have fun, be creative, and don't forget to send me a picture when you're done. Bye!